Hey my lovelies, welcome and welcome back to my channel where I break down the fundamentals of my hair care. In today's video guys, we will be doing a hot oil treatment. And I know I haven't done one of these on my channel in a very long time, but for the last two weeks I've been doing hot oil treatments prior to me washing my hair and I wanted to share my process with you. I have a video where I explained everything about my hot oil treatment so I'll leave it in the cards above and also in the description but today's video is going to be one of those chilled ones. I probably won't be speaking a lot. If anything I'll probably be doing a voiceover but yeah just enjoy today's wash day with me. It's going to be really chilled. So welcome to how I wake up in the mornings. My This is the state of my scarf on my head. And I'm wondering if you guys experience the same thing. Like, why is it almost coming off of my head? I think that's the thing with silk scarves, right? Like, we love them, but at the same time, how functional are they? Normally when I am using a silk scarf, I feel like I always have to put a bonnet over top because if not, then yeah I wake up in the mornings and my hair is not protected but anyways let's get into the start of my wash day routine and as I said this week I was still continuing on with my hot oil treatments and I've been really doing these treatments because of my shedding one of you lovely ladies in my comments when i was speaking about my shedding and the challenges that i'm having suggested that i go back to my hot oil treatments and i'm like yeah like why not sometimes like we forget what worked and um, i'm always happy for those reminders that you guys give me so i've been doing my hot oil treatments now for the last this is gonna make three weeks and I guess you will kind of get an indication of whether or not this treatment has really been helping me out. So, of course, before we start off any wash day, it is imperative that we detangle first. And with my hot oil treatments, I prefer to apply those on damp hair as opposed to dry hair. There are some people that love it on dry hair. And I think I've done it before on dry hair. But I don't know, it just feels like it does more when the hair is damp. So that's what I'm doing, just using my spray bottle. And I have some warm water in my spray bottle as well. So just get my hair really damp. And I would say use a towel. You see how I wrap that towel around me, please? Because when you're dealing with oil and it drops on, you know, your sofa or um, in my case, some fell on like my computer when I was trying to get a shot mm -mm. <laughs> but yeah protect yourself um, use a towel of some sort to ensure that it doesn't spill or fall um, all over you so in my mixture I have some avocado oil I love avocado oil some coconut oil and a few drops of rosemary essential oils those are like the oils that i use for my hot oils and i also use that same blend for my deep conditioner i just love the blend of oils guys i don't think i'll be using any more oils these oils work just right for me by themselves so in particular the coconut oil i don't use that on its own but with this blend it works very well for my hair i would also say that hot oil treatments for me i notice most of the benefit for my scalp and not necessarily for my hair and that's why you see me applying a generous amount to my scalp but ensure that you don't overdo it otherwise when it's processing you'll notice that you have a lot of oil running down your neck and that is just never a pleasant feeling this for me is like one of the most essential parts ensuring that you spread the oil across your scalp and i take a bit of time doing this guys like i make sure to massage and rub this oil into my scalp because the dry scalp thing it's just it's not it's, it's unbearable <laughs> it's unbearable um, so I make sure to get this really worked in to my scalp and as I said I take my time when it comes to wash days I'm in no hurry I normally plan my wash days in advance and so I do not make it a habit to 
rush the process it's my day this is my version of self-care some people go to the um, nail salon some people go shopping um, some people go to get their eyelashes done all these sorts this is my therapeutic session once a week at home this is how I take care of myself and you see the oil running down my forehead just just imagine like I didn't even notice the oil running down my forehead on the day now that I'm editing that's when I'm seeing it I'm so blind <laughs> guys I'm really blind I'm really blind I really need all my glasses if I want to see all these details but yeah after massaging the oil into my scalp I then proceed to apply the rest of it to my ends as I said the benefit is not really for my ends I don't notice much difference when I add hot oil treatments to my ends but I still make sure just to to coat it because what's the point of me going through all of this and just doing my scalp right might as well just do my entire head of here and then I just twist it around twist it around twist it around and proceed to the next section telling you that I got it messed up I got the oil all over things yeah silly girl but hey do you guys see how the oil just instantly adds that shine to your hair very nice no um, I, and the thing is I always wondered like okay so we do all of this to our hair but at the end of the day we're gonna wash it out like how much of the product remains I'm always wondering that how much of the product actually remains on our hair but yeah we do it because we see the long-term benefits um, and we appreciate the short-term ones as well because it does work wonders for my hair for my scalp not my hair but for my scalp So once that's done, it's just time for me to wrap it up, insert a clip to keep my hair in that place, and um, I then go on to applying my, ooh, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. So I missed out the section accidentally, and I just wanted to show you like the under-processed area in my hair. Can you see that little crink? Yeah, I have a massive section on that side of my head with under process areas like literally a massive section with this just that little crank crank but it looks so small but it gives me hells to the tango but anyways uh, I'm just gonna put this on my head and allow it to process with some heat So guys, I'm done applying my oil. I'm just about to allow it to process just a little bit with some heat. And then I'm going to head to the shower, do my washing, and then come back when I'm about to deep condition. And for deep conditioning today, I'm going to be using the Design Essential line. Well, I'm using the whole line pretty much for my wash day today. So I'll leave all the products that I'll be using in the description so you can have access to them there. All right, so. Let's get to processing and then I'll see you when it's time to deep condition. And now it's time for my favorite part guys, deep conditioning. Now all of you who know me know that I love a good deep conditioner, especially because my hair is so easily tangled. Finding a deep conditioner that instantly, instantly adds softness to my hair is very rare. And so this Design Essentials is like a favorite in my regimen right now and I am in no hurry, absolutely no hurry to try out any other product. I want to tell you, this thing gives me slip but it also gives me the moisture that I want. It, I know there are some persons that, you know, they are so anti silicone and for me at one point I was as well because I was like oh you know the bad rep that silicone gets from you know just being like a slippery type of ingredient but doesn't add much moisture 
design essentials got it right like i'm getting moisture and i'm getting the slip i am avoiding products at this point that don't have in silicone because i need the slip in order for my hair to detangle well i've come to that a very real conclusion yes we watch ingredients but at the same time i know what ingredients my hair likes and i'm going against the grain and using products that help with the manageability of my hair so this i applied all over and i don't need to apply a lot because it spreads so easily so i wrap this up again and then i will allow it to process as well with some heat so that's two sort of processing treatments i suppose i'm doing and i know sometimes it can seem long and lengthy to do all of this but as i said i have nowhere to go i am not in a hurry and do you see what i'm doing there there's something about the perimeter of my head that's where my hair feels the driest the middle of my hair is fine but around my edges my nape just behind of my ear my sideburns it gets so 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 dry yeah so i'm done now <laughs> and my shoulders feel a little tired so yeah i'm gonna allow this to just sit on my hair for about 20 to 30 minutes with my heat cap and then when i'm ready to apply my leave-ins i'll come back ah i'm excited because i feel that my shedding has decreased but i'm gonna monitor it a little bit more and then i'm gonna come back to you and tell you what i've been doing but it doesn't look like that much guys i've sort of switched up my routine just a little bit and um kind of liking what i'm seeing i am i am kind of liking what i'm seeing i'm not gonna lie but anyways um i let this I've, i left this on my hair for about seven minutes while i just got ready and now i'm just gonna apply my leave-ins and allow my hair to air dry majority of the way and then when it's close to air drying i would then add the blow dryer no nozzle no comb attachment just allow the heat from the blow dryer to dry my hair and for some reason that gets my hair straight i know it really does and it makes it so much more easy for me to manage throughout the week so let's get into it let's apply some leave-ins so it's time to air dry and apply my leave-ins. So I'm not using the Design Essential leave-in this time around. I am using the TGIN leave-in. But of course, as I said, I'll be leaving all the products down below. Um, I think a cream leave-in is so critical when you are air drying your hair. I'm going to go into a bit more details um, about air drying in an upcoming video. Um, but yeah, I applied this all over my hair. I think, how do you know that a leave-in conditioner is really good for your hair? As soon as you apply it, you should be able to feel instant softness. Like, um, if you're not feeling instant softness when you apply a product, it, it, your hair doesn't like it. That's just my take and my experience um, in the past. Like, your hair needs to feel as though it has on something and um it does it feels that way with this particular product make sure to get that saturated all throughout my hair as you can see the times when i will part my hair to make sure that it gets on my on my um my new growth and i and again like oils are essential when you're air drying because serums on their own so my john frieda on its own without an oil my hair comes out feeling very dry so i make sure to apply my avocado oil to both sections and then of course i would then follow up with my john frieda frizz control and that helps to get my hair feeling smooth prevent a lot of frizz and i don't want to say like it gives like a silky feel but it kind of does give a little bit of a silky feel as silky as you can get with air drying your hair.
so I'm done applying products my hair feels really nice and soft and I am shocked by how much new growth I have it's not okay when I look at it maybe it's not a lot <laughs> you can see the little ridges but it feels different I'm not sure why but it just feels different it feels way more than it actually is so I'm just going to allow my hair to air dry and then I'll come back and show you the results Alright guys, so this is the end of my wash day. My hair feels good, it feels soft, it felt moisturized. I just added a little bit of the Olaplex bond building oil to my hair after taking out some flexi rods and that's it. Like this is it. Like this is now becoming a standard wash day and I'm quite pleased with the results. For the week, best believe my hair will not be worn like this. It will more than likely be caught back in a scrunchie or a claw clip and um i'll be maintaining it that way for the week but yeah guys thank you so much for tuning into this week's video of course if you've made it this far and you haven't yet already subscribed subscribe join the hair gang family and yeah i'll talk to you next week sunday bye